In the early 1990s, while the world marveled at windows, floppy disks, and dial-up tones, something quietly powerful was happening behind the scenes. A Finnish student named Linus Torvalds typed out a simple message online. I'm doing a free operating system, just a hobby. What began as a side project would become Linux, the backbone of the internet and the quiet heartbeat of our digital age. But Linux wasn't launched on a stage. There was no marketing blitz, no billionaire founder, just a growing group of curious minds sharing code and solving problems together out in the open. This was open source, not a product, but a philosophy. That software should be transparent, collaborative, free to explore and reshape. And while the tech world raced toward profits, Linux just kept growing, powering servers, phones, routers, even space probes. Today, when you stream a movie, scroll through social media, or send an email, chances are you're touching Linux, invisibly, reliably, quietly. It became the foundation for tools like Git and Docker, and inspired a movement that would redefine how we build the web itself. In a world that moves fast, where trends fade and platforms die, Linux endures, not because it was sold to us, but because it was shared with us. In an industry obsessed with disruption, Linux is a reminder that some of the biggest revolutions are the ones that happen quietly, tucked away in forums, terminals, and minds that believe software should be free to explore, improve, and share.